You needed some love after all of that. You needed okay. sexy love and to the things you the sexy love. You needed some of that in your life. <laughs> oh okay. All yeah, right. that's what it was. Yeah. Get back to us though. though. Yeah, yeah, get back yeah, to us yeah, about yeah, it. Circle yeah, back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I need to start therapy. I just don't know where to start. How did you find your therapist? Nah, word. Honestly. I typed in uh black therapist <laughs> on, on like Google? Google in New York oh. City. And then right. I, it brought me to this website that actually has like a, a pool, a network of therapists, and yeah. you can actually kind of cater it to your liking, what it is that you're looking for. So they got therapists who specialize in like relationships, um, anger oh. management, um, you know, par parental repairing, all that type of shit. Like it gets really detailed on what you're looking for and what these therapists specialize in. Uh, oh. So I clicked a few boxes, but the main uh, box for me was a minority. So I started with black and um, Spanish therapist mm -hmm. right filtered those out um and then I, I know myself too well right i didn't i, I, I you, you got to create some type of boundaries i don't want to so i said let me just keep it on um like women like a woman therapist yeah yeah because that's valid. a man i'm gonna challenge him a man i'm just gonna uh, go one ear in one ear uh, out uh, um, like don't exactly. tell me what to do like yeah. it's one of those and it's also hey. i know the importance <laughs> for me in therapy is to tap into my emotions right okay. i'm not going to be able to do that with a man okay. like mm. it's it's tough because i had a male therapist before mm. and it was cool and it was great and I, I made a lot of progress when i was a little bit younger uh but i knew there was just certain levels i really couldn't reach because a lot of the issues at that time stemmed from like relationships and trying to understand my relationships with women and certain things mm. so i needed to find a woman um, and then, of course, being black, I want to talk to a black woman. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of how I found. Uh, Wait, so did you, therapist. when you found the the therapist on that site, was it the first one that you went with? No, 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 no. Because no, I, I know had... therapy is like dating. Like you have to click with mm -hmm. them. Yeah. So I met with two therapists prior. It was a, uh, a male. And I met with two, two women. Um, and the last therapist that I met, I knew like she was the one um I was like, oh this, wait this, how many this was it fourth. like three like four two, three two? three so three. one guy two, yeah two i don't ladies. know like oh that's why i'm like i i want to start ther therapy but i'm not looking forward to the trial and error of it you don't mm -hmm. want to date again yeah but you already found love it's okay to date again oh, yeah you better get I it guess. out while you can shit nigga damn you ain't never gonna date again might as well date some therapists uh, date some therapists <laughs> <laughs> I love how you said like, oh, I knew she was the one because I know that feeling like, okay, we're this is we're gonna do this. Like yeah. I feel yeah, it. Yeah, like she holds me accountable, which Aww. is super important. But and, in a way that you actually respect. Yeah, mm -hmm. and again, like yeah, y'all know, like black women, they just got this thing. Like growing up with my mom, my grandmothers, my aunts, like black women was a real big part of my upbringing, right? And right. They, they were the only people growing up that I could confine in. I was mm -hmm. there was a comfort there. Um, and just being able to open up and be honest. And then also, like, when I would do some bug out shit or some shit that I wasn't too proud of, I would find myself feeling like, holy shit, I'm ashamed to tell my therapist. <gasps> mm. Like, because of that subconscious of the accountability or the authority of yeah. a black woman, right? Growing up, having to tell my mom, yo, ma, I did some shit. You ain't really going to love it too much, but this is my yeah. truth. It kind of allowed me to, you know, fast track my, my progress. Process. Do you tell her I'm everything? Therapy. I mean, the therapist, do you tell her everything? Or are there stuff yeah. that you're like, oh, no, I'm too ashamed? No, nah, I tell her everything because... Damn. Not that way. Yeah, I tell her everything. I, I, I've, I've told her everything. And um, I don't want to be that guy. One, it cheats you if you're not just being completely honest. Badass. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, well, yeah, you're like, what are you paying money. for? Yeah, yeah, like you're wasting yeah. your money, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I tell her all of that. And then also humans we have the tendency of only telling our side of the story yes right? so if i'm having an issue in my relationship or with someone yes. i don't want to just put it all on that person like oh this girl is crazy or she did this or whatever the case may be uh -huh. i have to also let her know like all right this I is the role this. that i played yeah. right like i'm not uh -huh. completely absolved either so yeah i'm honest hmm. oh very interesting i just mm -hmm. while you're telling her these things are you ever afraid that she's gonna like tell someone <laughs> The, I don't know why I'm thinking yo, about this. Like, I if told I tell you my right, fear. I told you my fear. Yo. Yeah, yeah, because that's why you, Alex. I remember. I remember you said in the past, like, I want to know who my therapist is. Like, can I really trust you? And that's and sick, how would I know way. that. Like, how? how that's why I it's know? sick. That's why it's sick. Because how would you the know? That? Yeah. What if the therapist <laughs> isn't like the greatest person? How would we know mm -hmm. that? 
That shit, know. we wouldn't. You're trusting her with your life, pretty much, if you're telling her your deepest, like, secrets. Like, I don't want you to go get drunk the way we do after I tell you some shit. <laughs> yeah, and be like, oh my God, mm. guy. Like, she's like super drunk, and she's like, by the way, my client is Alex oh from the Need to Know podcast. Oh my God, you never me believe. Because she's human. Like, therap therapists mm -hmm. will never do that. I don't know. Like, I think they would. And I think obviously there's a chance that she probably has. Like, she knows what I do for yeah. a living, career, all that kind of stuff. Damn, this um, is crazy. To me. Like, even when I hit on FanDuel, I tell her. Like, I tell her everything. <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah, like that's. <laughs> Why? Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a part of my emotions, how I feel, like a part of my mm -hmm. week. But going back to your point of like, <laughs> if she's telling people something, I think there is because they are human. But none of them, for the most part, want to lose their license. License. Yeah. None of, nobody mm -hmm. wants to lose their license. So even if they do tell her husband, like, I know that she had a ring on her finger, which told oh. me clearly she's married. Mm -hmm. um, and so mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if she shared with her husband some of the things that she learns about me or other clients. Um and if that ever got out, you know, then she would just kind of lose her job. It's one of those things where you just got to expect her to keep her job a job. But yeah. the human nature is, because if I get a bug out client, I'm going to tell my shorty, like, yo, girl, this motherfucker right? is crazy. Yeah, so yeah. I, I get that. But I will say this, though. Um, it's good to just fully embrace it head on whenever we do decide to, Reggie, because dating is a risk. And this is probably like adjacent dating, right? Finding someone to really break down things and talk to about. But. I was just talking to someone about this last night. Like, you got to be willing to, because you know how people, when they're single for a while, just the whole dating aspect bothers them. Yeah, you know, like, I, they got so used to their, um, like, their themselves. Natural, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, their natural flow by themselves. But they also shut themselves down so much so that when they maybe meet new people now, they're closed off. But it's like, you can't do that because your past experience probably wasn't the best. You still got to come into this new situation with an open mind open mm -hmm. brain, you know what I'm saying? Clear heart, like, all right, cool. Even if I do get hurt with this experience, I gave it my all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that's something I've been trying to work on. Like, Amen. fuck it. We just all in, <laughs> fuck it. Ah. Damn. It is really powerful though. It, it, it's, it's, it's relieving. It does alleviate how you feel. Cause it doesn't always have to be about relationships. It could be about work status. It could be about your future. Yeah. It could be about Family, your past, right? Yeah. I think the biggest thing for me um, was trying to understand why I react to certain things in a way that I do. Like I wanted to go backwards with mm. my therapist. And thankfully that was her strategy with me. She was like, all right, cool. So what would y'all bring in like, um, and we kind of started from the beginning until now. So now I have a better understanding of myself and why certain things kind of can trigger me or trigger tick you. me oh. off or why maybe I'm a lot more patient with other things, right? Like real quick, oh. I know we gotta go. Oh. The biggest thing is like, she was so stuck on in the beginning was, the dynamic and the relationship between me and my father, right? Because I gave her the family tree. I gave her right. the family history. Mm -hmm. And my dad, as y'all know, he did a lot of time locked up in my childhood. He was locked yeah. up for a combination of like nine years all together, something like that. Eight, nine years all together. That's a large chunk of somebody's childhood, right? And so, For sure, and, for a child. In her, in her mind, it's like, okay, so where is the resentment, right? She kept trying to poke at that resentment button. And I'm like, I can't have any resentment towards him. I don't. He was still a present father, even though he was behind bars. Like, the nigga still did homework with me over this jail call. We went to <laughs> yeah, go visit and, like, him. I never got the, I never thought, oh, Savon, you know, there's a little resentment there. I honestly never mm -hmm. felt that Same. because you guys have such a great relationship. So, yeah. exactly. Yeah, what, wound up, what wound up yeah. happening? And, and I kind of explained to her, you know, the reason I can't have resentment towards him for that is because. I give him the grace of figuring it out as a human. He had me exactly. at 16, 15 years old, exactly. right? Like he was still trying to figure it out. And as I explained to her, like I still was surrounded by love. Me and his mom have the greatest relationship ever. Like yeah. there's nothing that I felt I was necessarily missing besides his physical presence. So how can I have resentment towards him when he was still there and he was just trying to figure it out? Like, a young black man in the 90s and early 2000s, all, a lot of them was doing the shit that he was on. Yes. Because I don't know how I would have been if I had a kid at 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Like, I still don't feel like I'm ready and I'm 30. So imagine <laughs> what he was feeling at yeah. 16, Pack right? So right now. Yeah. I always gave him that credit <laughs> even when I was young and she didn't understand that. But it allowed oh. me to understand in real time why I have such that, you know, connection with my dad. So 
that's what wow, that that's, means. Also, you don't have resentment towards your No, dad. absolutely. Oh, but thought, she was, she was, she was yeah, trying yeah. to pull the resentment out. She was trying yeah. to understand, uh, how don't you have resentment?